Chris, WahhabiKing.com, and we have the Scarab V3 Hexacopter. As you guys can see, it's a very unusual hexacopter. It's got uh, obviously some pretty cool styling and a lot of cool features we'll go over. But a little history about this hexacopter. It was actually designed by a group of engineers that got together and came up with this frame. Uh, they decided to release those files open source and we were contacted by several members of that group uh, letting us know that these files were available for production. So we went ahead and took them up on the offer and here it is today, the, uh, the V3 Scarab. Now we went ahead and did a few design changes, which I'll go over, which basically helps uh, this frame as far as weight, uh, uh, strength, as well as uh, adaptability to different types of motors and electronics as well. So uh, let's go ahead and start. Let's go through this uh, multi-rotor. First thing uh, you're gonna notice right here on the front end of this uh, is that it has this isolated front forward inline camera setup. And that makes it ideal for FPV, aerial photography, and sport flying because you don't have all this uh, center of mass below or above. So this is still a very nimble uh, style quad even though it's uh, 550 millimeters across uh, or its wheelbase. So you've got this isolated uh, front mount. Now in the kit it comes with uh, a bunch of different balls that you can dial in and the balls have varying uh, uh, vibration dampening uh, between 100 grams to uh, 300 grams of vibration dampening so you can mix and match the red and the black balls to get the, the right dampening for the type of camera that you're using. Now the front was designed with an adjustable plate uh, as well as several mounting options in the front here for different types of action cams such as our Turnergy action cam. Just slips right in there. You can put uh, rubber bands right on around the outside. I'll just go ahead and hold that up so you guys can see how that goes right in there and it just sits right into the front. GoPro 3, uh, Mobius, whatever you got as far as action cams. It's got different mounting options and provisions right in there so that you can go ahead and utilize that. So that's great for FPV, especially if you're using video out on this particular uh, frame. Now, uh, if we turn it on the side, the two lower halves, there's plenty of room right here in between the two of these that you'll be able to slip your ESCs right in between those frames, bring out your ESC wires right out to your motor arms. Talking about the motor arms, let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is one of the things that we actually uh, updated and changed. The original called for uh, G10. Um, and we went ahead and made this with CNC aluminum arms. We redesigned it so that uh, the weight is equal to what an FR4 frame would be, or I'm sorry, a glass fiber frame uh, arm would be. Uh, but uh, it's definitely much stronger. We hard anodized it and then went ahead and just did some chamfering for some bling factor to this arm itself. I'll roll it over, you can see it's been pocketed right underneath on the motor mount. So you still use this uh, standardized the mounting hardware for your motors itself, so you don't need extra long hardware for that. Really nice and thick on that, extremely strong, uh, durable, and of course it's aluminum, it looks good. Now uh, on the back side of this frame, it uh, has a mounting slot for your batteries, so it's got uh, quite a big bay right in there. And of course uh, there's a lot of DIY with the landing gear underneath there, you can uh, under uh, sling a battery if you want. Uh, you can even remove the landing gear and just uh, land it flat. Mounting provisions for all your FPV gear, FC 45 millimeter and 30.5 millimeter, uh, depending on what kind of flight controller you want there. All up weight, or I'm sorry, not all up weight, but frame weight on this is right at uh, 599 grams, uh, and that's with the vibration isolation system uh, and everything as you see it. Now, as mentioned, it's 550 millimeters, and that is its wheelbase, meaning from motor to motor. Now, the max prop that it was designed for is uh, about an eight and a half inch uh, prop. Now, uh, there's obviously some modifications that you can do to use those uh, 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 self-tightening nine inch props uh, by simply shimming one of the motors where the tips just overlap uh, ever so slightly where you shim the uh, the center motors or the back motors to be a little bit higher. Uh, other than that, that's it guys. This is the Scarab V3. If you take a look at the web copy, we've given uh, uh, attribution to the designers as well as a link back to the original post where this is uh, found. Uh, a lot more information about it can be found there as well as just doing some Googling on the web itself. It's an awesome looking hex and for its size, it being a 550 and its ability to carry uh, the amount of weight, this type of frame is gonna be still extremely agile. You're not gonna be one of those uh, docile, just shove it around the sky hex, uh, 550 hexes. This thing's gonna be sporty as well as to give you those FPV options as well. Definitely check it out, it's something different. Oh, and also to note, the center frame here is uh, FR4. FR stands for uh, flame resistance, so it's a variant of G10, it's a lot stronger, and it gives you the option of having a little bit of uh, some colors. And this one we decided to go with red with the black arms for the scarab uh, theme on it. Anyway, check it out, it's up on the new items page, and as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will see you guys next time.